I, I was very glad to make my debut for Ring of Honor. I, if I can be totally honest about the video package, um, so, so here's the story behind the video package in that I actually was the one that shot and edited that. Um, but, yeah, um, what had happened was uh, the music I had used initially uh, actually is copywritten, and I was waiting on um, my older brother's music. I was waiting on uh, a piece he was, he was actually producing for it, but he couldn't get it done. So I passed it off to Ring of Honor, and they were just you know, I was just going to have to do it or uh, add it and music to it. And when I was through the process, they told me there was actually, because uh, the original video was actually about three minutes. Uh, the version that got posted was about 90 seconds, I think. Yeah. And the whole thing that happened was it was supposed to be almost like going from the kind of dark, weird, uh, self-destructive, shall we say, uh, portion of the first 45 seconds to this almost cartoonishly 80s training montage and I feel it was when the music got changed I was like oh the music is so like heavy that it almost loses that feeling so on the front end it's still good but I feel like the second half sort of lost that feeling I was like oh it was because the second half was almost supposed to be ridiculous and that it's like the whole like the close-up of the white belt getting tied and all that it was like meant to be kind of over the top and kind of the British say, taking the piss to the uh out of the uh the training montage thing so I'm glad you enjoyed it. It, it was just—it's almost that feeling of when you see the finished product, you know it's like well, it's good. But it's not what I did. It's like, or it's not how I intended it to come off. But people liked it. They liked it. So I guess I guess that's good.